Hi everyone, my name is Ann Bennett and I'm the Executive Director of the Laurel Historical Society of Maryland and we have another one-take tour of the Laurel Museum for our current exhibit, Unpacking Laurel's Past, 150 Years on Display. And this time we are looking at the That's Entertainment section, which is a reminder that there's a lot of great uh, kind of entertainment venues throughout the history of Laurel and a lot of them are still in uh, place in Laurel or or have been up until the current situation. Uh, so this section highlights some of the different ways that people entertain themselves over the years. So we have a collection of copies of music programs. So we have copies of the Academy of Music for their concerts. We have the old Laurel Theater, the Red Wing Theater, uh, and as well as we have playbills from our modern theaters, Venus Theater uh, and the Laurel Hill Playhouse on display as well. We have lots of ways that people went to the races. Obviously Laurel Park is the most famous one that we celebrate. Uh, it was established in 1911 and so we have a copy of the inaugural race course program from 1911 and we actually have a fairly robust collection of memorabilia from Laurel Park uh, including the uh, Jim McKay Maryland Million Days uh, celebrated in October at the Laurel Park. Uh, we have a bobblehead of a horse uh, celebrating extra heat, uh, which was a very famous uh, high winning horse uh, at Laurel Park. We also have other programs from the Washington, um, Baltimore, Washington, or Washington, D.C. International, that's it, uh, the Laurel Race Course Program, uh, and as different memorabilia, we also have trays, uh, statues, plaques, programs as well. There were also other entertainments uh, that took the place of racing. So we also have the panoramic kind of picture here of the Baltimore Washington Speedway. Uh, and this picture was taken uh, in 1925. Uh, and this is the workers. So this is actually the uh, wooden plank uh, car racing one that was located further uh, north in Laurel, kind of where the uh, CarMax is today. And this was a wooden plaque uh, planked race track, a speedway. Uh, and it was very short-lived. I think it was only in existence for just about a year. Uh, but as you can see, there was a lot of people and a lot of wood that went into the making of this speedway. We also have things that are more familiar to us today, uh, like the bowling uh, pin and the bowling shoes uh, donated to us, and we have them from the uh, just recently closed AMF Bowling League as well. Uh, we have other pictures in our collection, again, representing music, song, dance, racing, entertainment, uh, and again, some of these are highlighting some of the not great history uh, of Laurel as well, which we thought was very important to include. Uh, so we do have a copy of a program in our collection from the 1950s uh, that was um, dedicated to a minstrel program. Uh, put on the Lions Club of Laurel. Uh, so even though this is not acceptable form of entertainment uh, today and has not been so for quite a few, uh, quite a long time, uh, in the past couple of decades, starting in the 30s, 40s, uh, and even going to the 50s, as this program indicates uh, that this was uh, a form of entertainment that even though we find it very uncomfortable, racist, uh, and offensive today, it was uh, a form of entertainment. Uh, and as such should be documented uh, in the history of Laurel uh, because we're here to tell the whole story all 150 years uh, of Laurel's past. So I invite you to come look at some of the pieces in our collection uh, and let us know what's your favorite form of entertainment.